Oh, yes, you do. I... Crumpets? <laughs> Pink cakes are what? Pink. <laughs> crumpets are no crumpets. Either you'll answer my question or I'll send for the police and charge this girl with embezzling charity money. This can hardly be kept out of the newspapers. Well, it'll certainly be in my paper. Well, you wouldn't print that. This is news. Business is business, and news is my business. Bennett, I think I'll find words this time that'll keep you awake. Come on, tell us the truth. What did you do with Gwen's $10,000? Oh, do you really want to know? I must know. And you want him to know what I did with the money? Yes. And you want him to know? Yes. 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 Answer him. Well, if you all really want to know what I did with the $10,000... Yes? Ask Mr. Ralston. Oh, me? No, no, I don't know. Fibber, how do you like it? Well, ask Van. I don't know. Well, ask Dick. No, no, I have no idea. Hey, Steve, this is a very serious matter. I insist that you answer him now. Or forfeit. Huh? Look who's here. Oh, the ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. What is this? Answer that question. Oh, I'll answer the phone. It didn't ring. Well, let's not wait till the last minute. What did you do with the money? Well, the uh, first thing I did was count it. Then what did you do? Well, then I, I put it in an envelope. Then what did you do? Uh, uh, who, me? Yes, yes. Oh, uh, hurry, hurry. Well, then I invested it. In what? Oh, and a wonderful common stock that doubled itself all double in 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You lose. I do not. I win. You lose. <laughs> what you just said makes you lose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's after 4 o'clock. No, oh, no, it isn't. Oh, no. It's only a quarter of 4 now. We moved the clock ahead. Yes, but I set it back. And uh -huh. I set it ahead. Yeah. Again? Mm -hmm. That's illegal. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing in the bed against that. All right, boys. Will someone tell me what this is all about immediately? I'm sorry, old boy. Tough luck, old boy. Tough luck, yes, yes, sir. And <laughs> I lose. I've lost. Oh. Oh. I guess it's my fault, boss. I didn't know I was doing nothing fooling with the clock. Oh, well, never mind, sir. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, I come in here a while ago and I seen by my watch that the clock was wrong. So I moved it back 15 minutes. When it comes to watches, I'm a stankler for details. Oh, Sam, you, oh, oh, then that's the right time. Well, thanks, fellas. Hey, my hey, condolences, thanks. thank you. Hey, Better luck next no. time, thank hey, you. I didn't know I was doing nothing wrong. Now, wait a minute, how do we Quanti, know that? Wow. listen. Huh? When you hear the tone, the time will be three minutes after four. Did you hear the tone, Pudgy? Yeah. Samo, I'm gonna buy you a platinum watch. In the meantime, you can give me your old one. Yes. That belongs to you anyway. <laughs> Mr. Bennett, would you be good enough to explain? Oh, yes, I will. You see, I bet that... Oh, won't you sit down? I bet them $10,000 of Gwen's charity money that I could... Yes. That I could lie for 24 hours. <laughs> it's a silly bet, but now that I've won, it's gonna be such a relief to tell the truth. Oh, Mrs. Donnelly. Dick never knew Linda. He didn't? No, that was my biggest whopper. She's an old friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Miami High together. Oh, Dick, have I? Well, you certainly have. Oh, Dick. And Linda, old girl, I'm personally going to see that someone gives you the money for your show. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ralston. Oh, I just can't wait to tell Charlie. Goodbye. <laughs> She's crazy about Charlie. <laughs> Bennett? You were not lying. Huh? I'm not as gullible as those fellas, you know. What was that stock you bought? Oh, well, uh... uh could it have been Los Lomas Quicksilver? Uh, come on, come on. You can't leave me out of a good thing, you know. Oh, well, it's T.T.'s personal... Uh, what about it, T.T.? Hmm, Van Dusen, it's highly speculative. I can afford to take a flyer if you can. Come on outside. All right. <laughs> Why, T.T., this is 2-2. Two -two. Now, you see, Mr. Bishop, you've been worrying about nothing, nothing at all. Mr. Bennett has the $20,000. Uncle's going to double it. That makes 30. No, I mean 40, you see? Oh, well. And as for you, Mr. Bennett, may I see you outside for a minute? Oh, you bet. Mr. Bennett, may I? Oh, Mrs. Van Dusen, you know what I said about you? Yes. Well, I didn't mean that. You look about 18. Oh. Well, 28, even on a clear day. Oh, flatterer. <laughs> yes. There, you see, dear? And Van... You know what I said about you? I meant that. So, you made a bet to lie for 24 hours. That's the truth. Oh, well, then you didn't mean it when you said you'd like to kiss me. Well, I'll tell you a bigger lie than that. What? I don't love you, and I don't think I could kiss you till your ears fly off. Well, there's no harm in trying. No, there isn't. Not only a citizen flugel, 
but also a wolfenschnitz.